there's a big mistake players are making on their serves and they might not even realize it. And I want to reveal what that big mistake is today and it has everything to do with what you're doing at the contact point. My name is Jeff Salzenstein. I'm the founder of Tennis Evolution. Absolutely over the moon excited to do this video for you today because it's a cutting edge tip that can help you with your serve to actually help you understand the serve at a deeper level and go out and practice it with some real specific tangible tools and tips that can help. Now today we're going to talk about what is happening at contact and a big problem that I see is that when players make contact they are facing the net and they are bent over like this. So essentially when they make contact they're collapsing their upper body like this. Now if you study Roger Federer, when he makes contact, he's going up to the ball like this, so his body is very upright as he's hitting the ball. Now he might be a little bit tilted like this, but you can see the difference, here's the difference. This is a guy like Federer, and this is most players like this, okay, bent over. So what I wanna do is I wanna show you how to correct this bent over posture at contact. Now, Keep in mind, I have pro tennis players that I work with that have very good serves that still collapse at contact. So this is not just for the club player. This is not just for the junior player to understand. This is for all servers. And what's really cool is there are ways to fix this and correct it if you start focusing on your fundamentals. So let me go through the steps on how you can actually serve more like Roger Federer and have that incredible posture like him and Pete Sampras and others. And so the first thing you have to do is you have to work on your turn, your coil, and your load. I like the platform stance. That is a solid stance that, hey, down the road, if you want to move your back foot into a pinpoint, you can. But I like the platform stance because it helps players turn and coil. You have to be able to load into your back leg as well when you're turning and coiling. If you're turning and you're already on your front foot, if you can't load in your leg and you shift your weight to your front foot too early, that could spell problems for your serve, both with possible injuries in the future and efficiency with your serve. So what I want you to do is I want you to work on your turn and your coil. Now, why is this important for your ability to have a better contact point with your body? to be more efficient. Well, think about it this way. If you don't turn at the beginning of your swing, let's say your arms come up like this, there's only one place that your body can go. It has to rotate like this. So it has to rotate and now you're going to be facing, if I'm like this and I'm not turned, you're going to be facing the net and you could be collapsing. So that's why it's so important to get a big turn in the beginning because guess what? If you have a big turn, now when you go up to the ball, you're gonna be in this position here, essentially at a 45 degree angle towards the net post. So the moral of the story here is the less that you turn, the more that you're gonna probably face the net at contact. It's a cause and effect. It's a domino effect, if you will. So you've gotta work on your turn and your coil. Now the next thing that I wanna teach you and I wanna show you is when you make contact, what you can practice doing. And so here's the big key. You want to practice being sideways when you make contact. Now, when I say sideways, you're not going to be completely sideways. You're going to be at that 45 degree angle that I just mentioned. So when you make contact, you can see, watch, watch, my, watch my body. When I make contact, I'm not really over rotating my body. You see a lot of players, they want to get power on their serve and in order for them to get power they rotate early they over rotate they try to get power by rotating their upper body too much but you'll see that when I hit a serve here without my legs I basically put the brakes on my body so I stop my body and you'll see where I finish here my my shoulders are still facing more towards the net post okay a person that would over rotate would get their shoulders to face the net too early. So you need that turn and then when, right when you make contact, you're gonna stop your body like this, okay? So how do you make that happen? One, you've gotta keep your head up longer. I know that's one of the, 
old cliches in tennis, keep your head up, but this is one reason why keeping your head up can help. Because as soon as you pull your head and you start looking at where you want to hit the ball, you're going to pull your whole body down. So you've got to keep your head up and watch, watch. When I say head up, it's not just head up and my eyes look, look straight like this. My eyes are looking up at a diagonal. So when I go hit this serve, my eyes are still looking up in that direction. So if my head and my chin and my eyes are looking up in that direction, then it allows me to stay more sideways. It allows me to keep the integrity of my body without collapsing. Very critical. That's one of my biggest tips I want you to practice. You can just go out and hit serves. And when you hit your serve, you can just work on, look my head, almost I'm gonna even look back because the habit is for us to turn the head. Why don't you just look, why don't you just look back when you're done so you don't over rotate? Now related to that, one thing that can really help you, and this is a concept that has more to do with what your body can actually do. But related to that is when you go to swing, what you want to feel like you're doing, and this is assuming you have a continental grip, your elbow and your chest have to go up to the ball like this. So this is, this is, a, this is a knowledge based concept. This isn't something you should be thinking about when you're serving, okay? you really need to understand that you don't want your shoulders to rotate, which we've been talking about so much. You don't want your shoulders to rotate so much. You actually want to feel your chest and your elbow go up to the ball. So when my, when my chest goes up to the ball and my elbow goes up to the ball, look at my body position. But if I actually rotate and don't lift my chest to the ball, if I don't lift my chest to the ball, then I'm going to over rotate. Now, I can tell you that intellectually and you can say, Jeff, oh my gosh, that's such a great tip. That's just for your understanding because most people cannot lift their chest to the ball because they have restrictions in the rib cage. Bad posture, tight rib cage, poor breathing. So that's where you need a corrective exercise program. And if you want to get hooked up with that, I can help you. All you have to do is click a link below and we'll get you set up with more corrective exercises to get started with us to open up your chest. But I wanted to reveal that that's one of the secrets is making sure that the chest and the elbow goes up to the ball like this instead of the shoulders rotating or the arm rotating. Now I've got a couple more tips for you before we go today. I'm really getting into this video where I'm helping you understand your positioning at contact. Now I want to talk about what's called the side bend. So when you make contact, if you are a collapser like this, again, we're trying to replace that movement with something else. We talked about keeping the head up and that can really help you keep your body more sideways. We talked about going up with the chest. Now we're talking about this side bend. So instead of collapsing at contact, we're gonna focus on a side bend at contact. Now one of the tests that we do at Racket Fit is uh, with a body serve connection is we focus on can somebody side bend. A lot of people are restricted in here. So you have to be able to, your body has to be able to do it. So when you make contact, look at how I'm side bending at contact. That's very different than hinging at the waist and bending over at contact. So what I think about doing is when I make contact, I am side bending into the ball. And when I side bend, that keeps me more sideways at contact. So you'll see right here, <coughs> I'm side bending at contact. And so when I finish, I'm in this position. Now this is a very advanced concept, but it's all, my whole goal is to educate first. Can we educate? Can we give you the knowledge? Can we give you drills? Can I get you to buy in and say, you know what? This guy might know what he's talking about with a serve. This is different than what I've heard before. And if you can do this, this will start to give you the education and the knowledge. So now you can start practicing specific tips to actually get yourself to serve like the pros, the good pros. There's a lot of pros that are still not doing this. And my mission is to help players serve at the next level, several levels above where they're at right now. Now, final tip I wanna give you today before you go. And this one doesn't always solve what happens at contact, but it can help you be aware of your posture when you finish your serve. And I call it hop three times. So when you serve and you land, if you can hop three times with great posture. So when you land, you can hop three times. See how tall I am when I land? 
Yes, you may be collapsed at contact, but then you can come right back up and stand up straight. Again, I'm not saying that's gonna fix what's happening at contact. The other things that I talked about can help, but this just provides awareness of being super tall when you hit the serve. It can make a huge difference and really help you with your posture on your serve. And I just wanna give you that extra tip today to help you serve better than you've ever served before. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video today on how you can improve your contact. One thing, contact point on your serve, one thing that I didn't emphasize enough, but I wanna leave you with this, is in order to be upright at contact like this and not collapsed, besides the technical things we talked about, you have to work on your core stability. You have to be able to have a stable body right here and not collapse. So there's a lot of things you can do to improve your body and I want you to think like that. If you improve your body and your technique, that serve body connection, you can absolutely transform your serve. And I'm here to help. So thanks for tuning in today. Really enjoyed making this video. Go ahead and click the link below or somewhere in this video. I got a free gift for you. We have a, an app that's absolutely unbelievable. You get free lessons in this app. I'm giving a free membership, 21 lessons, serve, forehand, backhand, strategy, uh, mental game, injuries, you name it. Click the link below or somewhere in this video and we're gonna help you get to the next level with your serve.